Welcome. We're running a, an Arduino Uno with three sensors. We've got uh, a LiDAR Light V3 uh, sensor uh, hooked up through I squared C. And then we've got a vibration sensor um, that we have uh, hooked up to pin 9. And then we have a standard DHT11 uh, temperature and humidity sensor. And um, on the mini breadboard, we've got four LEDs, a green and three reds. Um, and then we've got a capacitor here on the LiDAR. And what we're going to do with this test, and we'll show you two different scenarios, is the impact of that capacitor on the entire system as we're working with this LiDAR sensor and how we drive these, the proximity kind of meter-based uh, lighting here that we have. And so now that you've seen these, uh, kind of a close-up of these different uh, sensors, the idea is just going to be the rate of acquisition, the responsiveness of the LiDAR, and then as it relates to getting data from these sensors really fast every time we're looping through uh, the sketch um, with and without that capacitor. And in this first scenario, we're going to be using uh, Tin Man real-time uh, to acquire the data. You can see the data streaming in here. We've got uh, four sensors, the LiDAR, the temperature, the humidity, the vibration. And we're parsing that data. We're letting it stream in at uh, uh, 115,200 baud rate. And uh, we're just presenting this. We've had a couple images here to help illustrate the different sensor uh, plots. This is the LiDAR distance in centimeters from 0 to 200 centimeters. Temperatures in Fahrenheit, we've got a 75.2 degrees here in the office. And then we've got humidity about 19%. Both are off that same DHT11 sensor. And here's that vibration sensor, just a photo of that. And then uh, we've got a single column that goes from 0 to 10,000 units. Vibration units are pretty significant uh, for this particular sensor. We've got uh, the sensitivity. Um, and at the top, uh, you can see that we've got a range sensor that will give a name for a specific range. So we've got it set up for non minimal movement and huge um, based on different ranges. Uh, and so that's the setup. And so let's get on with our testing. Okay. Okay. On uh, this particular test, we're uh, using a LiDAR sensor that, uh, based on the distance uh, to the object, uh, it will light the LEDs. So if it's greater than 30 centimeters away, so my hand is high, uh, we get a green light. As we approach 30 and we're within 30 to 20, we get one red light, 20 to 10, we get two, and then below 10, we get the third. And so we can see the responsiveness here. Um, the reason we're doing this test is just to kind of show the relative speed with which uh, LiDAR acquires that signal. Uh, we can also look at the screen in Tin Man real time here and see that uh, the sensors are actually getting data uh, at the pace that we'd like. This is at 115, 200 baud. Um, and so this is using a capacitor of fairly good size, 1000 microfarad. And um, we've got that right there coupled on the, uh, the voltage in the ground. Uh, of the uh, LiDAR sensor. And so the idea here is we're just going to see what the impact with the other sensors. We can see if we kind of shake the uh, vibration sensor, we can we have a couple of gauges here in Tin Man real time that we're using. Uh, the, a range-based gauge that if we really give it a lot of shaking, this is minimal shaking in that level. But if we really pound it, we can get some high, higher levels of shaking. Um, but the idea is that based on this temperature and the humidity, what we want to see is that when the light pulses are given and when there's a change in voltage for any of these reasons, whether it's a vibration sensor or it's the LiDAR um, uh, measurement, uh, that we're not getting any fluctuations in the temperature and the humidity. Okay, so in this scenario... We have removed the capacitor, and we're going to plug this system back in. And let's get our project back in Tin Man real time and get it going and see what we have here. Okay, so we can see it is a big difference uh, in the temperature and the humidity reading. Let's see if our vibration sensor messes us up even more. 
Okay, we can see that the LiDAR is still just as responsive, it appears. Uh, let's see with the sharp crossovers. Yeah. Okay, uh, but we do see that the temperature and the humidity were affected. And so the voltage drops, the voltage changes as the system acquires data and uh, uh, environment is affected. Uh, we're going to get uh, the fluctuations in the temperature and in the humidity. So this is a pretty good uh, example of the importance of a capacitor. Uh, we might do another test with we have a smaller, actually what's recommended is a 680 microfarad capacitor uh, across the uh, uh, ground and voltage in for the sensor, the LiDAR sensor, and we've used a 1,000 microfarad. But anyway, um, uh, that's a uh, uh, helpful to know, and we can see that we clearly do need a capacitor. If you'd like to learn more about Tin Man Real Time, which is the uh, software that we use to do this testing and, and connect directly with this um, Arduino system, uh, go to tinmansystems.com forward slash real time and learn more about the product. Thank you.